All right, so we're at the last part here. We did the configuration wizard in the previous video. Um, and then once the, we apply that configuration and we access the appliance on the green interface, uh, you'll the first thing you'll see here is to register your appliance. So this is to uh, register your license and get your uh, maintenance from Indian. So if it's the first time you're ever accessing and you don't have an Indian network account, which is most likely the case, then uh, you'll leave this option selected as no, uh, which will then give you a, a link to create an account. So if we click here, we get uh, a window that will walk us through creating a network Indian network account. Once we have that account information, you come back to your appliance and you complete this form with that information that you created and your activation code provided by Indian and you can then register your appliance uh, and you're good to go. Um, so I'm gonna just skip out of this for now in order to show you, uh, give you a quick introduction to the web interface of the Indian. So we're gonna log in with admin and the password that we set up during the wizard. All right, so the first thing you'll see, uh, I'm just gonna orient you here on where you can find all of the features. There's a ton of features in Indian UTM appliance. Um, and we don't, we're not gonna go into all of those here. I just wanna kind of give you a quick orientation overview to show you where everything is um, so that when you're ready, you can get up and running with your Indian appliance quickly and easily. Uh, so the first uh, system menu is is basically where uh, you'll find all of kind of the overview. Uh, if you need to make network configuration changes, uh, there's a bunch of miscellaneous uh, system updates, event notifications, um, SSH access. So all of your kind of core system configuration options, things like that are done here. Uh, status menu is a more of an informational area, so you go to see system service statuses, um, connection statuses, uh, things like that. Um, under the network tab, uh, you've got some network configuration, so some uh, basic DNS configuration stuff can be done here, as well as your static and policy routes and your, uh, your uplink manager, so to manage your not only the red interface, but if you have additional uplinks, you can create those here and, and manage the failover policies and things like that as well. Um, under the services menu, you've got your uh, network services, so DHCP. Um, you've also got things like your uh, antivirus engine, so your Bitdefender um, settings, things like that. Um, other miscellaneous things like time server, mail quarantine, spam training, um, your IPS system, uh, configuration service configuration is found here HA for uh, clustering uh, two Indian appliances together um, SNMP and uh, lastly the bandwidth management QoS is found here as well your firewall this is all of your firewall components broken down into different sections so destination NAT source NAT are found here on the first one outgoing firewall, enter zone firewall, VPN firewall to filter the VPN traffic, and last, the system access, which is the firewall that controls access to the Indian appliance itself. Uh, the next tab is our proxy services. So this is web filtering for HTTP, HTTPS. You've got um, SMTP filtering with POP3, uh, FTP filtering, your SMTP filtering, and last year, DNS uh, filtering. So you can do use our um, anti-phishing um, service to be able to provide extra layer of security with the DNS filtering as well. A VPN, which is a, a huge component of, of the Indian UTM platform. So we have both uh, SSL, which is OpenVPN. We also have IPsec VPN as well. Uh, your VPN portal, which is your reverse proxy, is found here. And all of your VPN advanced configurations in terms of Active Directory authentication, syncing your Active Directory users and groups over so that they can authenticate using those credentials, um, as well as setting up a one-time password, things like that can all be found here under the Settings tab. The Hotspot, which is our Captive Portal solution. Uh, so if you want to enable that, you have to have the blue zone turned on. Uh, and we have some more advanced um, tutorials on how to use that feature as well. Lastly is your logs and reports. So this is where you go to get kind of the informational overview of what's going on with your appliance. 